I've searched for you, I traveled on when hope was gone to keep a rendezvous. Well, I knew somewhere, sometime, somehow you look at me and I would see that smile you're smiling now. Well, it might have been in County Down, or in New York, or in Gate Marie, or even London Town. No more. How will I go all around the world? For I have found my world in you. Yes, around and around. Jet Clipper service is unique. Upon boarding an around the world flight, passengers are greeted by the international beauty and grace known as the Pan Am Stewardess. Next. All college educated girls can fly until they are married or turn 32. Hands. Excuse me, can you help me? It's quite a picture. Thank you. Uh, I have a bit of a problem. Over a million copies sold, and your hat is askew. Oh, I didn't pose for it. I was only leaving the building. Are you wearing your girdle? Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that, is that necessary? A girdle doesn't stand up and announce itself. There's a rip in your stocking. Yes, I know. Can you help me? My flight leaves in less than an hour. How long have you been flying? Three weeks and two days. I have an extra pair. We're on the same crew. Follow me, Booty. Not too dark, Miss Valois. This isn't a cabaret. Yes, Miss Havemeyer. Next. She likes the girdle. <laughs> so, congratulations. When did they pick you for it? Just last week. I was on the San Juan leg. No, no, not the flight. The magazine. How did it happen? I'm not sure exactly. You really to be on time? Ah, pas mal. Vous avez étudié à Paris? À l'Université de Baltimore. Make way for the face of Pan Am. No, don't. Don't Night say that. Emergency. Don't say that. I'm not. I apologize. You're on the cover of Life magazine. <laughs> yes, with a face like that, you'll find a husband in a couple of months. Oh, I'm... I'm not looking for a husband. I hope not. You're famous now. No, trust her. She's not... <laughs> looking for a husband, that is. Kate, I... I tried to telephone last night. A man just took a picture. I, I didn't ask for it. Of course he didn't. I need gum. Does anyone want anything? Oh, hi, Kate. Can you chew gum in uniform? Clipper 22, cabin crew. We? Oui? Have any of you ladies seen your purser, Bridget Pierce? Are you sure we'll sell it in a couple hours? I'll take one. Here, I'll take mine. A uh, pack of Wilmington's and the young lady's chewing gum. 68 cents. Keep the change. Thank you. Pretty girl. Very. Are you ready for your first assignment? Now? Seek 3D. We need to detain him at Customs and Heathrow. Replace the British visa in his passport with his expired one. Without him knowing? I'll take that as rhetorical. You got your gun. Sure, let me get it. Oh, does the Marxist dialectic account for a dual thesis? That's Hegel, not Marx. Hello? Maggie, this is Bill from Pan Am Scheduling. Can you volunteer for a special flight last minute? I think you're working off the wrong list. We're missing our lead stewardess on our New York to London. Can you come and be our purser? Today? 8.30, departure. Margaret, this is Paul Gilbert. Pan Am is launching a new clipper jet, and I cannot let it fly without a purser. Did you know I was grounded, Paul Gilbert? Uniform violation. Not if you can get here in 35 minutes. I wish I could. I'm in the city. Get your fanny to Midtown. I'll have a helicopter waiting for you at headquarters. And sweetheart, Wear the girdle. Helicopter? An extraordinary gesture on my part to get your purser here on time. The bridge is not here yet? Not your problem. Clipper Majestic departs on schedule. Write her first chapter, Captain. Was 
Lord Yard, the one from Rome? Oui. Well, he's about to be the one from London. <laughs> Did you know he was on this flight? I love surprises. Smile through it, dear. Listen, you can crash here, but lock the door when you leave. Maggie! You dropped your silly blue hat. I get to see the world, Sam. When was the last time you left the village? I don't need to see the world to change it. Well, I do. Taxi! 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 I'm going to 200 Park Avenue, the Pan Am building. It's beautiful. Brand new, never been flown. What do you think, ladies? Can we make this work? Are you a pilot? One of them. Oh, he's our co-pilot. Uh, first officer. First officer. Okay, miss. Eyes forward. Fuel quantity checked. Flight controls free and correct. You ready, boys? Hey, you nervous? Because I can take that seat if you're nervous. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. But Pan Am wants actual pilots in the left seat. Mr. Sable? Right this way. 3D is the aisle. May I take your coat? I wear a coat when it's cold. Your briefcase? Jean. With Peter, please. Sean, please slow down. Tommy slipped. Oh, you all right, buddy? Uh, Evelyn, coat? If you don't mind, I'd love to get our son settled in first. Certainly, yeah. Clipper 22, tower. Your special delivery just landed. Over. Roger that, tower. That's our girl. <laughs> on short notice. Could we roll out, gentlemen? I'm getting tired of waiting. Maggie? Dean? You're a captain now? Did you just fly in on a helicopter? Oh, well, I like to make an entrance. Uh, where's, where's Bridget? I don't know. They just called me to fill in. Yeah, who's filling in the rest of her? <laughs> he won't be doing any actual flying, will he? Uh, welcome aboard, Maggie. Thanks. So, who else do we have? A new hire. She's in back. Laura Cameron? My sister. I can't seem to escape her. They put you two on the same flight? Mm. <sighs> Wasn't that something? Clear for takeoff. 3 1 left, Clipper 2 2 on the roll.
Isn't that obvious? Better buckle up. Adventure calls. Oh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Today, you get to share a bit of history with us here at Pan American. This is the maiden voyage of the newest clipper jet in the Pan Am fleet. If you've never flown on a jet to Europe before, you're in for a real treat. Our flight will only take six and a half hours with no vibrations or outside noise in our air conditioned cabin. We're traveling at a speed of 575 miles an hour, addition will back to substantial tailwind. Thirsty? An American man would say something, no? Depends on the subject. Family in row five and six. He's married. Oh. Well, did you ask? Oh, no, I don't care. I was only surprised. Oh. Well, good. Okay. That's very French of you. <laughs> Should we spike his food or his drink? Both. Relax and enjoy your clipper jet service to Europe. What? I don't think I can call you captain. You gonna be able to call him captain, Sanji? 35,000 feet captain. I don't think I can do it. Maybe I'll start in Spanish, work my way up to it. Boston Center, Clipper 22 with you. Flight level 350, heading 019 degrees. Roger, Clipper 22. Hey, Boston, uh, could you contact Pan Am Operations to see if they could secure a location on a Bridget Pierce? Come again, Clipper 22. Check on our missing stewardess, will ya? Whoa, bailing out already. Permission to christen the John, El Capitan. Nope, still sounds weird. Maybe an Italian. Well, Bridget must have called somebody. She'll turn up. She always does. Hmm. Hey, Maggie, heard you got grounded. Somebody caught you out of your girdle? It won't be the last time. Let me know if you need help with that uniform inspection. Hmm? Oh, thanks, but I think I'll leave that to more experienced. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, oh, would you take our picture for us? Thank you. Oh, I've never seen one like that. Yeah, it takes a special film. The photos develop right inside. It was a wedding present from my parents. Yeah, it's all set up. Just uh, press the top there. Are you on your honeymoon? Oh, finally. I knew in the seventh grade it just took him ten years to ask. Excuse me, miss. Is this you? Uh, no. We are so excited to be going to London. We were going to go to Paris, but my friend Sue Ellen just went to Paris, and we didn't want to come home with all the same stories. Oh, lovely, absolutely lovely. Greg is a very lucky man. Your father saw him eyeing this house on Asher near the elementary school. We should really try the other necklace again. Perhaps just a bit more rouge. Kate, does it fit? We considered basting the hem, but concern yourself, sweetheart. If your sister cared how her dress looked, she would have flown in for the fitting. Oh, I'm sure you guessed perfectly, Mother. Well, I had to, didn't I? You're still not changed? I had them in the veil. What? What did you do to it? I didn't do anything to it. It just tore a little bit. Kate, stop. Just stop. Get dressed. I'll tell Greg we need a few more minutes. <sighs> Are you all right? Yeah. It's just nurse, I guess. I can't seem to stop shaking. Well, you look beautiful, so just enjoy it. Can I get you anything? Could you get me some water? Yeah, of course. I'll be right back.
I traveled for 36 hours straight, but I got here. And still you couldn't manage the time to change out of that costume. <sighs> I am proud of my uniform. Do you know what we get to do? You made it clear you don't care what I think of what you do. Go ahead, gallivant around the world if you like, but don't use your sister's special day. Oh, this isn't Laura's special day, this is yours. Because Laura hasn't made a decision for herself her whole life. Laura? Laura, what happened? Did you faint? Has she eaten this morning? Shh, it's nerves. Just smile through it, dear. Mother. Shh, I'll get a set of I don't think Kate, not now. Do you want to open the window? I don't want to do it. Okay, sweetheart. I just don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. breathe. You're all right. I don't want to do this. Okay, do what? Very great. It's too, it's too late. No, no, no. No, it's not too late. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. But everyone's already here. Then we'll leave. They can all have a party without us. Mother. Lord, listen to me. You need to decide right now. Because this is your life. What do you want to do with it? Have a week. I'll take you anywhere you want to go, anything you want to see. I want to see the world. I love that plan. Hey, you can show it to me. I'll become a Pan Am tourist. <laughs> Of the airplane, as promised, you can see the southern coast of Greenland. Colette, I'm sorry. I didn't know you'd be on this flight. <laughs> what a coincidence. I didn't know you were married. I thought you understood. Understood what? I'm your mistress? No. I just need a little time. I, I didn't plan for this. What was your plan, Mr. Stanton? Believe me, when we met, I didn't expect... Now, Daddy? It's a long flight, buddy. Um, he wants to see the cockpit. Well, we can do that right now, okay? Come on. Must be catching. I got it. You got it. Everybody's got it. Must be catching. Ooh, it's love. Birds in the tree. Man, they got it. Fish in the sea. Must be catching, ooh, it's love. No need to worry, it started with Adam. He looked at Eve, man, she had him. Must be catching, ooh, it's love. Fish in the sea. They got it. Must be catching. Ooh, it's love. Long flight. Must be Sit catching. Ooh, it's love. Ooh, it's love. Oh, it's love. Bridget! 
needs a motorbike now. Talk to salesman to let me take her out for the day. With your stellar Italian? That and the Americano dollar. Who's that? Lost tourist. In need of direction. Good. I need directions to Tivoli. I... I can't. I promised Kate I'd meet her for lunch. <laughs> so tell her you got rerouted. Well, can you wait? No, especially. I'll, uh, save them for dessert. Come and find me. See you soon. <laughs> no, community service, the 4 H fund? My sister was the beauty queen. Well, then somebody got something backwards. You'd really have to see her. Oh, I don't need to. You found a place? Oh, yes, they had a table waiting for us. A new friend? Oh, um, this is... I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Richard. Richard Parks. Bridget Pierce. She came to my rescue. My translation book was failing me. Uh, yeah. He's uh, hopelessly lost, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sit down. I can't, I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to be waiting. They need a purser on the evening flight to Berlin. Marimani, lui carino. Uh, first in Pechino. Se vediamo New York. Okay. Ciao. Ciao, Bridget. I take it that wasn't your sister? Oh, no, we fly together. I'm a Pan Am stewardess. Well, that's my favorite kind of stewardess. <laughs> so what do you do for a living, Mr. Parks? I work for the U.S. government. Intelligence. <laughs> Hard to believe. No trench coat? Mm. I didn't say I was any good at it. You, on the other hand, fit the profile perfectly. Beautiful, well-educated, trilingual. And I have the perfect cover. Exactly. A Pan Am stewardess can travel all around the world without suspicion. Wait, how did you know I was trilingual? No, thank you. Can I get you anything else? Uh, yes, some peace. Would you like some caviar? From fair? Flown in daily from the Caspian Sea. That's late. Wait, wait! So this is my life magazine? No, I believe yours is in your briefcase. Steal a cop? Officer. Cop Ted. The first officer. That's right. What's your name? Laura. Laura. Is this uh, your first uh, intercontinental? Oh, no. Nope. Not this one. I'm just being hospitable. Consider her restricted airspace. I'm just helping you girls out, pouring myself some coffee. You know, for a co pilot, you spend a lot of time out of the cockpit. If you need anything, Laura, you let me know. I almost called home last night. Did you finally tell Mom and Dad that you followed me into the uniform? I wrote a letter. <sighs> but I hope it gets over for a life magazine. Miss, um, excuse me. Can you help me? Have you seen my glasses? I think I left them in my coat. Yes, I'll take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, we're hitting a patch of rough air, so for your safety, I'm going to ask you to please return to your seat. 
I've got it. I've got it. I'm sorry. I, I thought you trained for this. Okay, I just started. This is hard. Hard for you, Laura? Nothing is hard for you. You're perfect. What do you think? Just get out of my way. I do not need a lost puppy. Excuse me, miss? Yes? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Colette. Colette, thank you so much for taking Tommy up to the cockpit. Oh, it was our pleasure. He's a very sweet boy. Could you sit for a moment? Is that allowed, visiting with the passengers? Yes. I can't imagine what it's like to be on your feet for so long. You get accustomed to it. I want to ask you where you get your eyelashes. They look so natural. No, they are natural. They're mine. Darn. I was hoping they were Parisian and I could pick up a pair. You're blessed. I'm jealous. What are you drawing, Tommy? Oh, last month it was space rockets. This month it's airplanes. Lovely. You're an artist. Miss, could I have another martini, please? John, don't drive her off. No, not at all. My pleasure. Clipper 22, Gander Oceanic. Gander Oceanic, Clipper 22, go ahead. Pan Am operations asked us to relay a response. Your missing stewardess resigned from the London office. They don't mean Bridget, do they? Do you copy, Clipper 22? Uh, Roger Gander Oceanic, Clipper 22. Thanks for passing that along. Over. Bridget loves Pan Am. She wouldn't quit. I never trust a radio. They once lost track of me for three weeks in Brazil. Unless... What? She'd have to quit if she got married. Well, uh, who? Well, Bridget? Oh, Dean, the whole company knows about you, too. I didn't know. Everybody but Sanjeev knows about you, too. Did you get engaged? Ah, you <laughs> son of a bitch! Congratulations. If you're engaged, why is she in London? Oh, who knows where that woman ever is? She barely made it on the plane in Cuba. She was in Cuba. We all were. Flew out the last DC-6 full of released Bay of Pigs prisoners for Uncle Sam. Playing with the mutiny? <laughs> no, it wasn't a mutiny. Secured? We don't have Bridget. Well, where is she? She's not on the plane. I didn't see her outside. Captain, you're gonna have to kill the enemy. No, no, no. I have a mission and a plane full of people I'm responsible for. No, you can't leave without your crew. We finally have clearance now. We're leaving. Not, yet, not without her, you're not. I'm not gonna get stuck in Cuba. Dean, I swear to God, I will take off without you. Hey, move! 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 Move
Maggie, tell these people we're taking off in one minute. We're getting out of here. And do not let him close this door. No pasa nada. No, 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 no. Piloto. Piloto. Champagne to take with them. Do we do that? Uh, sometimes, if they're nice. They're certainly nice to each other. Kate, I never wanted to be a burden to you. I will ask to get reassigned. Laura, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you here. But you ran away from home for a reason. I like knowing you were there to come home, too. Wait. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of this Jet Clippers inaugural flight, by random selection, we'd like to offer the passenger in 3D a bottle of champagne. Please, give him a round of applause. Here you go, sir. Compliments of Pan Am. No, thank you. Oh, all right. Fred, is this you? Yes. I thought these were models, no? Well, I just graduated from stewardess school, and I was crossing the street to go call my sister. I hardly remember the photographer. I was just happy. I guess it made a good picture. Thank you, ladies. Welcome to London. Welcome to London. Thank you again. Our Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Have a wonderful trip. Welcome. You still love surprises? Only the good ones. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot my purse. I'll get it for you. Thank you for flying with Pan Am. Here it is. Thank you. No. Tommy's drawing. No, keep that. I want you to have it. Put it on your refrigerator to help remind you not to sleep with other women's husbands. There are so many fabulous faraway places to see. Such as Mexico, Sweden, Hawaii, Japan, and Capri. There's so many exciting and wonderful places. Mountains and jungles and desert oases. Pleasant as home is, it isn't what Rome is. So why stay there when there are so many fabulous faraway places to see? 
You're going to be great at this. Why should Spain and Tahiti and Rio just be only names to you and me? I feel certain that people would be glad to know there's a hotel. Excuse me. Would you, uh, would you place a local call for me? Bridget Pierce. Bridget Pierce. Certainly, sir. I'll patch it through to the house for him. Great. Thank you. Very dramatic. Is that my yes? Hello? Bridget. This is the operator, sir. I'm sorry. The number for this residence has been disconnected. for flight <laughs> you're late you're British keen powers of perception give it a moment you'll catch up I take it you weren't detained at customs Roger Anderson MI6 I'll be one of your London contacts Passport. One of many. Didn't think we'd throw you into the field without a test, now, did you? You passed, by the way. Barely. You walked out with it, didn't you? No matter. We were testing mindset, we were testing will. Your real assignments might, in fact, be easier. Almost all foreign diplomats and businessmen, persons posing as such, fly Pan Am. You'll be expected to keep your eyes and ears open and communicate back to us. Sometimes you'll function as a courier. Bridget? Bridget? And you must use discretion at all times. Make no mistake, we call it a Cold War for a reason. I understand. I certainly hope that you do. Mr. Anderson, people have underestimated me my entire life. And they've been wrong. Yes, well, we'll see if you live up to your recommendation. Unofficial, yeah. but mandatory. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow, another plane takes off to someplace new. Vanished. Today's mistakes. 
They're only and trace a touch more wisdom. Uh, I think so I understand you better in French. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the British edition? Oh, oh, no. No. Well, I have to get my own copy. Another Start continent? I can't get away from it. Why would you want to? Mm. I'm not that picture. I, I can never live up to that. Because it's not you. It is the promise of you. This is all of us. Face it, if Bridget were predictable, you would eventually lose interest. I've hit on enough of these girls to know that they're not like normal women. They're blah, I don't know. They're mutations. I think I know where you're going wrong there, Ace. Oh, I mean, that's a compliment. You think the first man to crawl to the primordial ooze knew he was different? No. He just had an impulse that there was more to life than primordial ooze. Is, is this you trying to make me feel better? <laughs> uh, see, see that table over there? That is natural selection at work, my friend. They don't know that they're a new breed of woman. They just had an impulse to take flight. So don't try and ground them. That was a tricky approach tonight. Hell of a landing. Captain. Appreciate that. It's the only time you're ever gonna hear. Got it. Take two more, please. Yeah, I heard that. And Lucy Brown. Not that Maggie back in town. I said, Jenny Diver, whoa, Suki Tawdry, look out to Miss Lottie Lynn, yeah. and old Lucy Brown. Yes, that light.